Well, what do you know? The same legacy media institutions that fan the flames of hysteria over misinformation and fake news have been caught yet again pushing a 100% confirmed piece of misinformation and fake news. Yeah, when it comes to what happened with the so-called bike Karen, not everything is as it seems. It all started with this video clip. Go, record him, record him, record him, record him. Help! Please help me! 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 Please no, 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 no. Please I said help. no. I said sit down. Guys, guys, guys. Please. Come, take she the just took my bike. Me. She's just crying. Hassan! You're not crying. You're not crying. I got stupid. I got your video. Bike. And this is how the media framed it. New York health worker placed on leave after falsely accusing black man of bike theft. White woman caught on video trying to steal black youth's bike in New York City. City bike Karen allegedly identified after video trying to steal black youth's bike goes viral. Sarah Jane Comrie is a 2023 version of Carolyn Bryan. She was immediately monstered with the racially charged Karen slur, and purely to satiate predatory social media mobs. Her own employer swiftly threw her under a bus and placed her on leave, with Bellevue Hospital apologising and saying they stand against discrimination. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump even said the woman, quote, tried to weaponise her tears to paint this man as a threat. NBC News tweeted, a New York City hospital employee has been placed on leave after a viral video that appeared to show her attempting to take a rental bike from a group of young black men garnered millions of views. Turns out appeared to show means not at all, and the video actually showed the literal opposite. The woman's attorney has provided receipts showing that she paid to rent the bike. She had reserved it and then they pushed the bike back into the docking station, preventing her from taking it out again. Everyone who's accused her of a crime of stealing the bike, it's outrageous and it doesn't make any sense. Because it's really likely, isn't it, that a lone woman would try to steal some Something from a group of black dudes. If anyone was trying to steal the bike, it was them, not her. Despite the truth behind the story being a complete 180 of what was originally reported, NBC News hasn't even bothered to update their story. Neither have scores of other publications. Oh, not so keen on the fact checks when they contradict their agreed upon narrative, are they? Also note how the woman's status as a hospital worker, a profession that was revered and given godlike status from 2020 to 2022, suddenly gets revoked when the narrative demands it. She's just that little bit lower on the oppression Olympics ranking order. Strange how white privilege manifests itself through the lens of legacy media and social media mobs, isn't it? White privilege means immediately being labelled a criminal, blamed for something that you didn't do, having your reputation publicly trashed, your career put at risk, and your basic safety placed in real jeopardy. All based on a hoax, promulgated by the same media that constantly pearl clutches about the perils of misinformation and fake news. Take a look in the friggin' mirror. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.